Welcome back to the home team. This month's high school feature is the Wassa Swimming Finals. Yes, OFSA is going to be March uh, 3rd and 4th, and it's at the uh, Pan Am Center down in uh, Scarborough, uh, Toronto. Um, these kids are qualifying today. This is their only chance to qualify. OFSA Swimming is a big event that hosts record-setting numbers of athletes. There are two ways for swimmers to qualify. Number one is time. Uh, there's qualifying standards that are set out by OFSA. If they make that time, they get to go on. Uh, if they don't make the time and they win the event, then they also get to go on by just winning their event. Uh, last year, the OFSA meet set a North American record for the largest meet period for number of athletes, period. And it beat the Americans, it beat every, anybody track and field. Number one is over 2,400 swimmers in two days of swimming. Prior to WASA, there is a TV Raw regular season with three events, as well as other competitions that teams can travel to. The early competitions are set up for newer swimmers to learn and succeed. We do run our own regular season. Because of the magnitude and the, the size of and what it takes to run a meet, we, go, we can only run three. Um, but even getting the pool facility, people don't understand that you, know, you just can't all of a sudden run one of these in a six lane pool or a five lane pool. We're lucky that we have this eight lane pool here in London and the uh, City of London and the staff here, they just make it so worthwhile and so easy for us to run here. So we appreciate everything that the, the city does for uh, high school sport and swimming. Um, so throughout the year, we have various meets where you can try different events to see where you're best suited to swim. And so we do that until January. And then last week we had TV Raw. And then if you qualified there, you're now at Wausau. Our very first meet, we don't even DQ kids. We just want them to learn to swim and just relax. So that's something unique to swimming where we tell our officials, don't DQ, we're gonna teach. We're gonna tell these kids what they did wrong instead of DQing them. Obviously when we get to the championship, it gets a little tougher, now it's DQ time. There are seven divisions of swimmers in male, female, and para. There are also four strokes, free, back, butterfly, and breaststroke. But the athletes have the most fun in the relay races. Relay is one of the most fun events ever because you are working with your teammates, you're cheering everybody on, the atmosphere is really positive and it just encourage you, encourages you to do your best not only for yourself but for your teammates. Relay is definitely fun. I love Relay is probably one of my favorite events just because like just the team aspect of it, it's a lot of fun. Putting on a swim meet requires a lot of preparation and countless officials working to keep the competition running. And for high school events, the officials are volunteers. The difference between this and other sports, it is the officials, the number of officials it takes to run a swim meet. People have no idea. Uh, we have uh, from FINA officials here, uh, right down to level one, two, three, four, uh, fives. It's incredible. Uh, every lane is being watched over. We have officials in the uh, room doing all the documentation, starter, referee, uh, you name it, clerks and everything. That's the big difference between uh, this and uh, other uh, sports is these are all accredited, highly accredited officials that it needs to run an event. And, you know, with the high school, we're just very fortunate. These people are all doing it voluntarily. They don't get paid. Um, we feed them a little bit to thank them because they're taking a day off of work uh, to run this for high school kids. And I think that's why I appreciate it so much. Um, but yeah, it's a little different. They're not making the money that some of these other officials are making. They're just doing it out of the goodness of their heart. With opportunities to learn for any skill level, any student athlete can take up swimming. So I would say just honestly just go for it. Like you don't have to be the best swimmer to compete because there's all levels of swimming here. There's high school division, open, junior, senior. So I mean, I started pretty early, just grade nine and just kind of for fun. But I figured like if you want to do it, it's a, it's a great workout, full body workout. So that's always fun. Definitely do it, take the risk. Um, you learn leadership qualities, you have this social atmosphere with all your friends, and you just learn other skills that are transferable. It's super fun, it's really casual, and I, just, I love it so much, and I would encourage you to just take the risk. Gall and Ursic are among those that qualified for OFSA and will be competing in March. I, I don't know, I don't want to jinx anything at OFSA, but hopefully A or B final, we'll see. Reporting for The Home Team, I'm Melissa Yee. And that's all for this episode of The Home Team. I'm your host, Jeff Shaughnessy. If you have an interesting sports story you'd like to share with us, you can get in touch with us on Twitter, 
at home team RTV. Until next time, whether you're cheering from the stands or the couch, the home team has you covered. Thanks for watching.